All right, here we are again, Farmall A, actually Farmall B with Farmall A serial number. Anyway, um, we've got a carburetor. As you can see, there's no carburetor here, but there is a really nice carburetor. You see that pretty good? Okay, so I bought this aftermarket, of course, because you can't buy anything from them right now. And um, so, the big thing is I'm going to try to use as many of the of the existing pieces as possible. So there's a couple existing bolts there. I'm going to try to use those. Um, and uh, let's see. Now that could be fun. Let's see, make sure that the bolts line up. This is the first. Yeah, this is going to be. This is going to be fun because this. This looks like I, I need to. I think I need to have. No, that's going to have to go that way. So by looking at these, these two are the same. So that, okay. So I figured out something already. I figured out this is gonna set there. Wondering, I probably should, if I can, change out those bolts. I'm gonna put this here. That is gonna go right. Yeah, this is the fun part with the old stuff. Get that on there. Put that main up. We're going to have to get all the dirt off there. So that's going to fit in there just like that. That'll be the newest part on this old machine. And because of that, I'm going to have to put, probably going to have to get just a little pipe that I can put between these two. So the air just goes straight. I'm sure there was something here before. But that will not just fit snugly on there. That just sits there oh I'm dropping things so I don't want to I don't want to get that too dirty but anyway so that's what we got so this is gonna take a little longer than I thought um, I'm gonna have to get a little bitty uh, probably just a little connector that'll go between those two and maybe just a just a hose that'll cover that and uh, we will have to get this going now this is a challenge because I'm taking a, a 80 year old pipe or 80 year old part and I'm connecting it to a brand new part and so I'll have to see I may have to buy a new one of these because this I don't know anyway so that's what we're going to do we can't do that today so we might I just wind up taking the old screw heads off here because I'm not sure if they're going to match and uh, then we will put new uh, new screws in there and then we'll go from there I'm going to have to figure out uh, what is used to connect those two and uh, because they're the same size so I'm sure there was a sleeve there and the sleeve didn't come with it so we'll have to figure out what to do um, but uh, and I think new bolts are going to be the key. Because I believe that the bolts just pop in there. Also, I'm going to have to get a few new fuel line. Of course, here's, here's the old fuel line. It comes down here and it breaks. And then I've got... Now, yeah, that's not the fuel line. It looks like the fuel line. Here's the old fuel line. But that's going to be the easiest one. We'll just run it over. And... Uh, but I wanted to see how far I needed to have it before I did that. So anyway, that's that's what we're going to have to do with the carburetor. And it looks like because of that, we're going to have to do it on a different day. So uh, I'll turn off the video. We're going to take the uh, bolts out, try to get ready, see if I got anything here. I can do that and see, um, you know, basically I'm, I'm figuring it would be just a little rubber connector 
I can put between the two um, just so that the, it doesn't leak between the two. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.